Hi Pioneers! Today I want to answer some questions about the Pi Wallet. Is Pi Wallet a custodial or non-custodial wallet? Pi Wallet is a non-custodial wallet, meaning that only you have access to the passphrase of your wallet. When will the Pi Wallet have the real Pi inside? It will have it when Pi Mainnet is live. We aim to launch the mainnet by the end of this year. Can I recover or reset my passphrase if I didn't save it or if I lost it? No. Typically, this is not possible for non-custodial wallets, since no one else has that passphrase and can recover it for you. So keep your passphrase safe and do not share it with others. The core team is also working on a potential new mechanism that is utilizing your security circles to help your account recovery process while maintaining the wallet as a fully non-custodial wallet. I forgot my passphrase to the wallet I recently created. Is it possible to create another wallet? Yes. Create another wallet for now and make sure that you keep your passphrase safe next time. The wallets currently only connect to the testnet, so they are only con containing test pi for testing. Thus, no real loss happened for you by replacing your wallet. But after the mainnet, losing the passphrase to your wallet, which contains real pi inside, cannot be cured just by creating another wallet, because this would have the result that you lost access to all the pie that was in your original wallet forever. I accidentally shared my passphrase with others. What should I do? You should create a new wallet with a new passphrase and stop using the compromised one immediately. Since we are in the testing phase right now, it's okay to create a new wallet. In the mainnet phase, however, you should immediately create a new wallet and transfer all your existing Pi to that new wallet before others do it. Does the Pi wallet provide a custodial option storing the passphrase for pioneers on the server? No, not for now. Will the Pi wallet have a custodial option in the future? We may develop an optional custodial wallet in the future, only if enough pioneers show interest in this feature. So please let us know if, what, if that's what you want to see happening. Can I use other wallets? Yes. PyTestNet and Mainnet is and will be a public blockchain. Thus, any wallet compatible with the blockchain of Pi can work. Pi is fully accessible not only in your Pi wallet, but also in any other compatible wallet. However, the official Pi wallet is where you will get your mainnet Pi when we launch. You can afterwards transfer it to other wallets if you want. Is the Pi wallet following standards or did we make up our own? It's following sta standards. It is based on the BIP39 and BIP44 standards. In general, there is a rule in cryptography stating that you should not make up your own crypto and you should only use widely accepted peer-reviewed algorithms and standards. And that's what we do. Why are there transaction fees? Transaction fees avoid spamming the blockchain with useless transactions and allow for transaction ordering during times of network congestion. How much is the transaction fee? The current transaction fee on the testnet is one cent. When you send a higher fee for your transaction, you still pay only one cent, unless there is a congestion on the network, in which case transactions with higher fees are executed before transactions with lower fees. Where do transaction fees go and what are they used for? All fees are currently simply getting burned 
by being accumulated in an inaccessible pool of burned pie. However, in the future, fees could be used for other things such as mining rewards instead of minting new currency or other purposes for the benefit of the community. Will passphrases stay the same after the launch of Mainnet? For your convenience, we aim for the wallet passphrases to stay the same so that people don't have to create them twice. So we urge you to get Mainnet ready and create your wallets now. However, there is still a chance, for technical improvement reasons, that we may have to ask you to reset your passphrases before Mainnet. Will my wallet address be the same on the mainnet and testnet? This has not been decided yet. Technically, either way is possible, but we need to consider the pros and cons. Well, that's it for now. Let us know if you have more questions.